Hi all, thanks for coming on and joining here. Um, let's talk about the advanced framework extension. Okay, so the objective is obviously to talk about the advanced framework extension. Uh, we'll do a, a brief introduction of myself, uh, PDS Vision US. We'll do a, a demonstration on AFX and we'll have a little bit of time for Q&A. So, now so my, my name is Bill. I'm a technical specialist at PDS Vision US. Um, my experience is in industrial design, rendering and additive manufacturing. There's a picture of myself and my son. PDS Vision US, US is a technology leader. Uh, we are a PTC global reseller and preferred services provider. And some capabilities of ours include consulting, professional training, uh, our cloud, and also our awesome help desk. Boundary Systems was founded around 2006, and we were acquired by PS Vision Group between 2017 and 18. Some partners of ours include PTC, of course, as well as Moldex 3D, eTraj, Keyshot, and ITI, to name a few. This concept right here, um, is basically talking about the intersection of applications that we provide as also as well as where they intersect with departments in the manufacturing process. So what is the advanced framework extension? So this feature basically allows you to easily create structural framework assemblies. Um, it can be controlled through top down design and to easily change the size of the frame, size and layout. Um, it uses sketch curves and endpoints to place predefined geometry like pipes, beams, and plates, and allows you to quickly create joints. And what's great about it is that it eliminates the need to manually create geometry or cut to define joints. So this saves a lot of time. So there's an example image up to the left there, which shows the layout of the frame so we have sketches that, that were predefined and created for us and then we can easily select those curves to create the assembly there to the right all right so let's jump right into it so there's the layout you can see that to the left of the tree we have a set of curves and these curves allow us to again place i beams um, pipes joints, right? So here's all the information. Here's another sketch here that we'll be using. So we can find the framework extension up in the ribbon at the very top. So I'll select framework here. And you can see in the ribbon, we have the ability to create a new profile. Uh, we can add connectors here. Uh, we can add some equipment like an end plate um, or even a staircase if, if we need to. So let's start off adding our first profile here. So let's go to new profile and I can go and search the section type library here and I'm going to start off with the pipe. So I'm going to select that guy here and once I select it I can go ahead and define the size here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay so once I have the size I can easily come in here now and I can just select the entities of the sketch that I want to add the pipe to. Great. Okay. Now I can also add geometry or a pipe, right? Um, not only using these curves from the sketch, but also using endpoints. So I'm going to select the endpoints collector. And I'm going to grab my points and turn these on. And I'm going to grab that point there and that point as well. Pretty easy. All right. So now I'm going to go add some more geometry. And I'm going to go back to my library structure here. And I'm going to use the rectangular tube profile. And I'll define the size.
Okay. And again, once I have the size, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the entities that I want to place the geometry on. So there's one. And what's nice here too, is we also have the ability to redefine the orientation um, of that tube relative to the curve that we're using to place it. So there's the curve right there. And you can see I have these options right below move. So I can say, hey, let's define the position of the tube using the top edge of the, the top left edge of the tube. And it's gonna place that top left edge right on that curve. I can do the top right. I can do the bottom left, bottom right. Or if I want to just bring it back to the center, I can do that as well. So that's one of them. I could basically go in here now and just repeat the process. So I can grab that line there, that one, and that one. Again, just want to emphasize here how quickly I'm able to lay this out, as you can see. Okay. Now, what I can also do is I can add joints. So I'm going to come up here to the basic joints area and I'll define my joint type. And I'm just going to come in here and I'll create my joints. You can easily repeat that process all the way around the frame. Just like that. Quick and easy. Perfect. Now you can see that I'm intersecting uh, at the you know rectangular tube and this tube below it. So what I can do is I can go into the section join one profile and two profile. So I'm going to use this defined T joint type and I'm going to grab that pipe and that guy there or that tube and that guy. And I'll grab this one and repeat that process again all the way around. Just like that. Okay. Now let's say you know I wanted to come to come in here and redefine the size of the pipe. I can easily do that. I can grab the pipe and in the mini toolbar here, you can see I have modified profile size. So I can just select that and then come in here and add a new size. So I'm gonna come over here and do this and adjust the size like that. And I'll repeat it for this one. And I'll just do it for all of them. And last but not least, this pipe here. All right. And that looks good. All right. And of course, I could also add another pipe here as well. So I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to go back to my profile and make sure I have the right one selected. Let me go back here. Let me grab my pipe and I'll modify my size. And I'll select this guy here. First click text. There we go. Okay, great. So what's nice now here too is that I can use what's called the advanced joints and you can see that you know, we have these pipes and they're connecting here um, at an angle. If I want to, I can remove material to create the cut where the pipes intersect each other at this point. So what I'm gonna do is go into advanced joints and I'm gonna use the cutout method. And I'm just gonna select that guy and that guy. You can see it's gonna create that cutout there. Okay, just like that. And I'm also going to Repeat, and I'll create a cutout between that pipe and that pipe. Repeat, and then I also need a cutout between this pipe and that one, just like that. Okay. Now I also have an, an intersection here in the frame that I don't want, but this time I'll use that planar trim and I'll grab this pipe here. And I'll grab that surface of that rectangular tube to create that trim. Pretty cool. Um, I also have the option to add some equipment. So if I want end caps for my pipes on the legs, I can do that here. So I'm going to come in here and I'll go to 
beams and end plates, end plate round. I can click next and I could just come in here, right, and add, add these end plates. Select that guy. And I can use the middle mouse button to go through this pretty quickly, just like that. Great. Okay, so now let's let's take a look at another profile here and we'll go into the I beams. So I'm gonna grab that profile type, I beam, and I have to define the size. All right, again, so I'll, I'll grab this guy here and that one and this one again. But, you know, let's say if we want to change the orientation, I can change the orientation here and rotate it 90 or I can click OK. And if I'm closed out, out of that menu, I could always just go here as well to operations and I can say move profile, select that profile rotate that 90 like that. All right, and then I can also reuse that profile. So if I, if I basically just wanna repeat that, I can go in here and say, reuse profile, and I can select it and then determine or um, specify which, which curve I wanna use. Just repeat that all the way down the line here. Just like that. Okay, great. So once we have that, we may also want to add some connectors. So I'm going to go into the new connectors up here and I'll just browse for the connectors that I want to use. Double angles, I'm going to click next. And I might also want to adjust some settings. So I want to do a top beam and cope here and one for the bottom. And I'll also specify dimensions. like that, bolt diameter as well as the number of bolts, just like that. I can preview it um, if I want to as well. And then once I do that, I have to specify the orientation of the connector. So I'm gonna grab that side, that for the top and the attachment face. I can preview it there. You'll see it's gonna create it. And then same, same thing there. I can just go in here to component now, say I wanna reuse that component and select it and just go down, down the line, adding that where I need to add it. Okay. It's also kind of neat because we can add stairs as well. So if I want to, I can go to new equipment, come in here and take a look at some of the stair types. go into my settings and make sure that I'm using the you know correct settings for my stairs. So I'll go in here and find those settings. Like that. I can specify the angle for the stairs as well. Just like that. Then again, I basically go on here to find on the geometry of the, fame, of the frame, how to place the stairs, to make sure it's placed where it needs to be. So I'll use the top plane down here as a reference for placement, as well as the top surface here. And then we need, a, we need the attachment plane for the stairs, so it'll attach on this right surface. And then we'll also center it use a, using this plane right here as well. And then I'll click OK, and there's the stairs. Now, what's neat about this is because we're kind of controlling it at the top level using this you know, top-down design methodology, I can go in here now and say, hey, you know what, let's adjust the size of this frame. So I can go in here to curve ID 26, edit these dimensions like that, and say, hey, you know what, let's, let's reduce the height. Let's change that from 120 to half the height. Let's make that 60, right? And that's going to pull that down like that. All right, I can also take this sketch right here or the one above it. And I can modify these dimensions as well. All 
then regenerate. So you can see how quickly you can create this frame when um, you've predefined sketches and um, you have the ability to just basically select those entities, those curves on, on the sketch to add these components. And then again, if you have those sketches at the top level, you've assembled these components, it's very easy to adjust the height, the width. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys in, enjoyed that and you saw how quickly you can create these frames. Yeah, so if you'd like to, to learn more about this, you can send me an email at bdrosos at pdsvision.us. Um, you can also contact sales at pdsvision.us, and you can also check out our videos on YouTube. Um, so at this point, I guess I'll um, take some time um, for you guys to ask me anything that you're curious about. No questions? All right. Well, thanks for, for uh, coming on and, and joining, and I, I hope you guys learned something. Thanks. Bye.